lock it into place. My cat is playing with a water bottle cap right now. Excuse me. Are you kidding me? If you guys saw my setup right now, you would never watch one of my videos again. Can you get down? Get down! My cats are... Come on. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Today I'm going to be experimenting with makeup. Normally when I do makeup, I like don't do a ton of it. Um, but I am obsessed with... I'm sorry if you can hear my cats in the background. I'm so hot. I have to take these pants off. I love watching videos of professional makeup artists, just experimenting with makeup, doing makeup routines. And so, you know, I obviously learn from the best with them. But when they put on makeup, it's so much, but it looks good. And I'm like, maybe that's because it's on camera. Could be, right? Um, I just don't know. So. I'm for my like base. I already washed my face, did my moisturizer. Um, and you can definitely take this video very seriously because I'm clearly trained. Um, this is all of the makeup that I own right in here. That's it. So like I said, I have lots of experience. For my foundation, I normally just use, it's this Neutrogena. It's not close at all. And my camera's not autofocus, so it's Neutrogena. And I've been using this probably since high school. I just put some on. But this isn't supposed to be what I normally do. This is supposed to be experimenting, right? Right. So. I'm still going to put foundation on. Ooh. So cold. Cover up all those pimples. One thing I noticed that I love to do is point out my flaws so that no one else can point them out first. Is that unhealthy of me to do? Probably. Am I going to keep doing that? Yes. I don't know if this lighting is good or not. Whatever. Bruh, can you stop playing with stuff? Can you play with that in the other room? Then what I do normally, um, I just do like a few dots of uh, concealer, but I see so many people going in with like heaps of it and it looks good. I'm so genuinely confused on that. So I'm going to cover up my pimples like I said. And then I'm going to do a little bit more than usual for concealer under my eyes. I'm calling this experimenting with makeup and I'm literally doing what I normally do. So this is kind of a joke. Like making this video right now feels so boring. It doesn't feel boring, but it feels like no one would be interested. But like I love watching videos of other people do this and i think this right now is just a really good look i also watch robert welsh and i love his brother's channel james welsh um i love their you know skincare and makeup and 
it's just so much fun. Oh, I also love Bailey Sarian. She does makeup and um, she also does like murder mystery stories while she does her makeup and that to me is so interesting. I watch random ones and I don't know their names. So I just concealed. I decided that instead of doing experimenting with makeup, I'm just going to do kind of my own. So let's little switcheroo there. But what I do then is I go in, this soap is so white, it's okay. I go in with a Neutrogena powder. Is it focused? I like, you know, a glowy sort of look, but I naturally have pretty oily skin, so um, putting this powder on doesn't necessarily take all the life away from my skin. It just sort of, I think it sort of evens out the color. It gives a little bit more of a warm tone, um, which I like, but I really don't want, you know, I want to look my color because I'm, I'm already so fair skinned. Um, I think it looks ridiculous to, you know, add a bunch of bronzer and try to look super tan or what ends up looking orange. Well, then what I do, this isn't my favorite bronzer, but it's all that I have and I'm not going to waste it because it was like, not expensive, but I'm just not going to waste it. It's the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. And I know a lot of people actually really like this. I just think it's a little bit, I don't know, it's kind of too dark for me. So I have to be super careful about how much I put on. Um, so I take this brush. It was from Walmart. Like I said, very knowledgeable on makeup. And I also learned, you know, I see people, you know, start from like here and do all, all, and I really just think, you know, here to like there is good for the bronzer. You don't want it to look like, at least for me, I don't want it to look like I have on this load of bronzer or contour or whatever to make it look like I have cheekbones. You want it to look natural, at least I do. I know a lot of people maybe don't. Um, I do, and I think it also might be because I'm so fair skinned. So I put some on my nose, and I have no method. I literally just put it on my nose. And then I go in with blush, and I use a different brush for blush, blah, blah. Um, and I, I learned this also from Robert Welsh, that, that it's really good to not mix your bronzer with your blush because it creates a gray tone, and he's so right, um, it does create a gray tone. So. I go in with this CoverGirl, um, the color is classic color. And then I feel like for the color of my skin, my eyebrows are already dark enough and I don't really like a crazy look. I know some people look fabulous with it. I do like to brush my brows out, my brows out blah, 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 with this little, uh, I just get like a, a spoolie and that's what I use. So this one broke, but whatever. This eyebrow is darker than this eyebrow. So a lot of times I will take a pencil to uh, even it out. So let's do that. They look about the same as they did before. Um, then I really just like to put brow gel on because 
I feel like it holds it all together. Oh, that's for lashes. It's like a lash side and a brow side. So I just do this to lock it into place. My cat is playing with a water bottle cap right now. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, I'm losing battery. It's like this. I feel like I, I don't know, I just like that more natural look. Um, but yeah, so my brows are a little bit different. Um, obviously my foundation. I do like that it just sort of lifts the face, so I would definitely try that trick. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to post this because I'm like embarrassed because I don't know a lot about makeup, but I do like the way that I do my makeup. Um, and again, like Robert Welsh, I've learned so much from him regarding makeup. Um, but yeah, I wish this was more exciting, but my camera's about to die. So, yes, thank you for watching, and I will definitely be back with more videos. The culprit, the one making all the noise. <laughs>